guys it's a new day it's rex with retro zombie gaming and uh today i'm going to uh go check out some walmarts for some stuff that i had seen on brickseek uh first thing is a inflatable uh grinch uh christmas inflatable i guess anyway um they usually go for about 35 bucks and right now they're selling them for three and I heard this Walmart might have more than six of them. So I'm, I'm hoping I can find some of those because I feel like if I can, I can sell them on uh, Facebook Marketplace or uh, offer up somewhere like that for like 20 bucks. So make a $15 profit. Um, I could probably go a little higher maybe, but I, I want to get them going fast and everything. So I'm going to try that and uh, see what happens. And then uh, after that, I think I'm going to go check out some Goodwills. Uh, pray nobody's picked them. They probably have because... One thing I'm learning about Dallas is there's a there's a lot of resellers here. Like there's, you know, when I went to the last video, I went to a, a thrift store like out in the middle of nowhere, and the lady told me that a father and son the week before had came and picked up all the, her games and stuff. I'm just like, shit, really? Like this is out in the middle of nowhere. So anyway, let's go to Walmart see if we can find this uh, the Scrinch. All right, let's get a picture of this Walmart. You kind of see where it's at. It's in Mesquite, Texas. Go. That's a pretty one. So, no luck at Walmart. Uh, I looked all over, I asked, and zero zilch. I even looked for some of the toys I was looking for deals on, and it said they had them here. I asked around, nothing. So, that was a bust. I'm gonna go uh, check out a couple Goodwills, see if I can find some thrift stores, and maybe have some better luck. All right, guys, so we are at a Goodwill store in uh, Mesquite, Texas, uh, heading towards Rockwell, Texas. So uh, not too busy. Hopefully we can find some stuff here, see what happens. I'm praying we can find something because that Walmart was a bust. And the last video you saw, I maybe got three, uh, three things. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully they got something in here and nobody's picked it yet. There's the Goodwill. Make some money. All right, guys, just got out of uh, Goodwill. Uh, the Goodwill here charges three ninety nine for games, uh, PS three and down, and seven ninety nine for game like PS four and Xbox One. So. Yeah, not not very cheap over here at the Goodwill. I did walk away with a couple things. I got this uh, controller. I don't know what kind of system it goes to. It looks like it's just for like a, a mobile device. I mainly got it for this right here because these you can actually sell for a decent price. Um, but I paid $1.99 for that. Then I found this PSX, PS2 game switch. Uh, I looked it up, they're going anywhere from uh, 10 to 20 bucks. So thought I'd throw that up for 10 on uh, Marketplace. And then this game is the Udra Instant, Udra Studio Instant uh, Artist. Um, open it up real quick. It's complete. And it is going for, I believe, it's going for around 20 bucks. So I paid four bucks for it. So I'm gonna throw it on a uh, marketplace and offer up and all those Craigslist for like 15 bucks. See if anybody uh, wants to wants it. So not too bad. Spent 10 bucks. I'm hoping to make a profit of let's see, uh, 10, 15, maybe 40 bucks. Maybe <laughs> see what happens. But uh, 
Yeah, so not too bad. They had a PS3. I was going to buy it. It was 20 bucks. It didn't have no cords or controllers or anything, but it had a chip in the corner. And I just, I asked the lady, I was like, you guys go any cheaper on that? Because it's got that, it's missing that piece in the corner. It's like, no, we can't do that. Like, the guy that brought it in tested it and it worked fine. And I don't believe her. I, I just, I don't. So I don't know. But part of me kind of wanted to go back in just, you know, to buy it because I, I know you can return stuff but I don't really know who'd want to buy a chipped uh, PS3 like that because it's like chipped to where you can actually see like um, the inside and it's just I don't know if anybody wants that so I don't know but on to the next alright guys first uh, thrift store today not Goodwill thrift store but another just a random thrift store so Let's go check it out, see if we can find anything in here. And then after this, uh, there's another Goodwill I found just right down the street. We're going to go check out as well. All right, so they had a decent collection of stuff. They had a PS3 for like 100 bucks. No. <laughs> Um, they had quite a few games, um, their prices were just random, I mean, I wish I could just go to, like, how the thrift stores were, uh, last weekend, and, you know, I could get certain prices, but, like, a lot of these people, like, especially in the cities, the bigger cities don't want to lower their prices at all, so, I ended up picking up Disney, you draw, princesses for the Wii um, I was like thinking well I just picked up the U draw before it was worth like 20 bucks take a chance because my uh, scanner app was not working so I couldn't get a precise how much it was worth so I took a chance 325 turns out it's worth maybe five bucks so live and learn live and learn so um that play, I mean, that place just, some of the stuff was way overpriced. Like, they had broken uh, PS3 controllers for, like, six bucks, and I'm just like, what? Really? Because I almost jumped on one of them at first, but then I, I noticed it was broken. I was like, ah. I had sold a PS3 uh, controller, like, last week for, like, 25 bucks. So, I was like, yes, this is good. No, it's not, because it was broken. So, anyway, let's go check out this uh, other Goodwill. All right, guys, so uh, on my way to the other Goodwill, I saw a store called uh, Dirt Cheap. So dirt cheap is not dirt cheap. I finally found like the area of video games and stuff and they were doing 40% off on the video games. Most of them were brand new, sealed and everything, but none of them were like worth anything. And the reason is they were selling them at retail price. They were selling them at 60 bucks, but 40% off. So, you know, 35, 40 bucks still. I mean, come on. It's that's ridiculous. I mean, you can go to Walmart and get most of those games for half off right now. So that's ridiculous. I, I couldn't believe that. Like if they had had the games like 20 bucks and, you know, 40%, then that's a little, and I know that's kind of hard to do, but come on, man. The, the prices here are ridiculous. All right. So we're at another Goodwill. Um, let's pray that our luck changes. We find something great, good, spectacular. Um, there it is. There's the entrance. It's, it's beautiful. No, but seriously, let's go, uh, see what we can find. All 
All right, guys, so we found another Goodwill. Uh, it's going towards Dallas a little bit. Um, let's see what we can find. Let's, let's pray we can find something in here. All right, guys, that Goodwill is a bust. I'm gonna go uh, try one more thrift store and probably call it a day. Uh, there's a chance of it snowing, so I don't wanna take no chances because Dallas drivers are crazy. Very, very crazy. So I don't wanna take no chances with that. So let's go check out this last thrift store and see what we can find. All right, guys, last stop of the day, Super Thrift City. There it is, Super Thrift city i hope they're super and i hope they got some super cool stuff because i haven't found nothing like the last five stores so let's go see what we can find all right guys so uh, no luck they did have some games uh i think they were most expensive was like $1.99, but a lot of the cases didn't have the disc. And I mean, it was mostly sports titles. It wasn't nothing really worth anything. So I passed up on that. Um, I did actually get this little TV. I bought it for four bucks. No idea if it works. I got plugs that'll work on it to test it, but um, the reasoning behind it is I was looking for a TV to kind of have on me. Um, like if I'm going to buy stuff from somebody, I want to make sure something works. Like I can plug it up in my car and then be like, okay, well, can I test it real quick? And there was a guy that I bought, I, I sold him uh, my extra 64 about two weeks ago and he had a TV and tested it, but he said it wasn't working, which it turned on and everything. And I don't know if it was the games he had, but it just wasn't turning on. And I honestly got to think he played me, but um, I was selling it for 45, ended up being 25. He's like, I'll pay you 25 because you're broken, but it wasn't broken. It was working just fine. He just, I don't know. But anyway, I thought it would be a cool idea to have one. If nothing else, I can use it in my office because I do need another monitor. So, um, you know, paid four bucks for it. Hopefully it works. Um, but yeah, so I think that's going to be it for the day, though. Not a whole lot of luck. Um, you win some, you lose some. You know, I'll just keep uh, keep at it. I'm going to, this weekend, I'm going to try to hit some garage sales. Hopefully, the areas I hit, there'll be actual more garage sales because the last couple times, it's just been bad. <laughs> um, but hopefully, we can find some good garage sales, find some good deals. I'm gonna start looking on Facebook Marketplace too and seeing if anybody's got some stuff cheap. I haven't seen anything super cheap yet. I've talked to a couple people, but a lot of times on Facebook Marketplace, they won't go down on price. So see what happens, see if anybody buys some stuff this week. Uh, I've only had one sell so far, so hopefully it picks up pretty quick. If not, just find more stuff to sell and hopefully it sells. So.